Most online store owners are familiar with SMS and email marketing campaigns for driving more engagement and sales. However, the majority of online store owners are unfamiliar and are leaving a lot of money on the table when it comes to push notifications. So today I'm going to share how you can create and set up push notifications for your Shopify store so that you can drive more value, engagement and ultimately more sales. Okay, so before we go ahead and launch into Shopify, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge and tools to help your small business thrive online. And with that happy note out of the way, let's go ahead and get your Shopify store up and running with push notifications. Okay, so here we are inside the back end of my Shopify store. Now, in order for us to enable push notifications for our Shopify store, we first need to install an app. And the app that we're going to be using for the purpose of today's tutorial is called OmniSend. And OmniSend is an SMS and email marketing platform that allows you to engage in different types of campaigns to ultimately drive more conversions for your Shopify store. So to do that, simply navigate over to apps and then search for OmniSend email marketing and SMS. Here we want to install the app and then click on install app. Now I want to point out that OmniSend has extremely high ratings across the different e-commerce integrations. They have some of the highest industry reviews for an SMS and email marketing platform for tools like Shopify, Wix, WordPress and others. Okay, so back inside setting up our free OmniSend account and integrating OmniSend with Shopify, here we just need to add our details. Then once you've added your details, go ahead and click on get started. And make sure that you head over to your email inbox, find the OmniSend email and verify your account. Then here, what we want to do is set up our brand assets. This is going to make your life a lot easier when creating email campaigns and forms inside OmniSend because all your branding will be automatically added to your assets. Once you've gone ahead and added your branding, simply navigate down and click on save brand assets. And once you've completed setting up your OmniSend account, you'll be taken to your OmniSend dashboard. Now, most likely this is your first time using OmniSend. So what I'll do is add a beginner's tutorial up above and down below in the description, which will help you get started with SMS and email marketing activities using OmniSend. So go ahead and check out that OmniSend tutorial if you're completely new to OmniSend. Now to set up and create push notification campaigns, what we want to do is navigate up to campaigns and then click on new campaign. Then navigate down the page and locate push notifications and click on connect app. We first need to connect a dedicated app and that's going to take you to your store settings inside your OmniSend account. Collect push channel subscribers. Then turn on push notifications. And as you can see, push notifications are now active and collecting subscribers. Okay, so as soon as you've turned on push notifications, you can start collecting push subscribers. So you won't have any subscribers to start off with when it comes to sending push notifications. It will take your store some time to start collecting those subscribers so you can start sending push notification campaigns. And this is the notification that your potential customers will see when they visit your online store. They have the option to become a push subscriber by clicking allow, or if they click on block, they will not become a push subscriber and you will not be able to send those push notifications to that visitor. Then simply navigate back over to campaigns and then new campaign, then locate push notifications. Now, just quickly before I get back to this video, I just want to mention my all-in-one digital playbook that you guys might be interested in called Go Digital Now, the ultimate small business playbook. This dynamic book took me a year to create and is ideal for small business owners, new and existing, that are looking for a clear-cut digital roadmap for setting up the right tools, systems, activities and strategies so that you can absolutely dominate online. I will add a link in the description below this video if you want to learn more about Go Digital now. Okay, so with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get back to this video. First, we want to simply add our campaign name. And this is for internal use. So this campaign name is going to be called New Product Release Social Media Planner. Then come down and add the title of your push notification. We can also add an emoji. I'm going to use this star eye emoji. Then we can also click here and then add personalization. For example, we could add the contact's first name inside the title to personalize those push notifications. However, I'm going to do that with the text down here. And as you can see, I've added the notification text, the contact first name, and then get my dynamic social media planner 
and 14 day marketing blueprint and level up your social media game. You can see a preview of the web notification over on the right hand side. So make sure that you add personalization to either the title or the text. As you can see, I've added the personalization to the text body. Then navigate down and add the destination URL. In my case, I wanna add the page to this new product. Then navigate down and you have the option to add an icon and an image. If we click on add icon and select a file, let me show you what this looks like. And here's the icon that I want to use. And that's gonna add that icon over here. Now, if we navigate over to add image, and then click on select file. And I'm going to use this image that I uploaded earlier. And as you can see, this is what our push notification will look like with this image and icon down here. I'm actually going to navigate over to add icon and I'm going to remove the icon. And that's gonna make this push notification look a lot more clean. Now you can see that the image icon is not supported on Mac OS and iOS devices. Okay, so I'm happy with my new push notification campaign, which is all about promoting a new product release. Once you've created your push notification, come down and click on send test to preview what this notification will look like. Then go ahead and click on next step. Choose who you want to send this push notification to. Is it all your subscribers or do you have a segmentation that you want to send this campaign to? I'm going to navigate down and click on next step. And because we've just enabled this push notification, we currently have zero subscribers. Down here, we can edit our recipients and then we can send this push notification campaign now or schedule for later. Then when you're ready to launch your push notification campaign, simply go ahead and click on send now. And that's how you can set up, create and start sending push notifications to your audience. It only takes one click for your potential customers to start receiving web notifications from your store. Web notifications are a great way to drive engagement, to update your audience and to sell more products through your Shopify store. Again, if you're interested in launching SMS campaigns as well as email campaigns and building web forms, for building up your email list for capturing subscribers, then make sure you check out our full OmniSend tutorial, which I'll link down below in the description, which will help your Shopify store get started with SMS and email marketing activities. And there we have it guys, that is it for this push notifications tutorial using OmniSend with your Shopify store. Now if you have any questions about push notifications or OmniSend, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this tutorial all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to this channel and that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care everyone.